Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie Krebs from Art Impressions and I'm here at scrapbook.com and I'm gonna show you our new Bible journaling line. So this is how to watercolor in your Bible or in a journal and you're gonna love to be able to do this. It's super, super easy and I'm gonna show you um, some really simple projects that you can do to get started. Sort of an introduction into Bible journaling. Uh, sometimes it's intimidating to think about actually stamping in your Bible and uh, but you don't have to be worried about that because this is a super simple technique and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need is a Bible and this Bible that I'm using has a large journaling area so that's always good but you can use the Bible that you have too. So we're going to start out with these two basic sets. This is the basic flower set and basic foliage set and these two projects that I'm going to do right now are just using these two sets. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do and lots and lots of things that you can add. So start out simple and uh, then you won't be intimidated to keep going. Okay, so I'm going to show you, first of all, how to do a simple border like this one. This only takes a few stamps and actually it's really, really fun to do. So it's, it's, um, it's a little more reverent. Uh, if you're thinking about that, it doesn't cover the text. Uh, if you're thinking about that and honestly, it's good for beginners. So we're using the same continuity throughout. We're using the same technique and the same stamps. So super, super fun. If thinking about doing that heritage Bible for a family member, there's still lots of room to write, uh, things that you might want to write. Okay, so let's get going on that. I'm gonna just move over to another page that I've already prepped. So be sure that you are using a watercolor ground to prep your page first. And I've done that with both sides. Make sure that you do one side, turn it over and do the back side. So we're gonna start out by stamping in the Bible and you can actually stamp right on it. So I'm gonna start out with this vine and a green, just a green marker. And I'm going to ink this up with my marker and just start stamping this in here. Don't worry about getting it in exactly the right space. Uh, don't worry about um, that you're not stamping it right. This is the beginner way to start. So there's really no way to mess up a little uh, border like this. So once that's done, we're going to take a brush and dip it in water and pinch it off. So we're going to pinch it off so that it's flat. And then we're gonna start out just softening all these lines, just carefully dabbing at all these lines. Don't erase the image, don't get too much water on here, but just softly dab at it and soften the lines. And if you wanna try this first on watercolor paper, do that, practice a little bit on watercolor paper and then try it in your Bible. So now that that's done, we're gonna come in with some flowers and something bright. So let's pick a bright purple and I'm just gonna ink a few of these little flowers and make sure I'm stamping them over and over again. So one, two, three, four, five. On top of itself. So sort of in a little circle. And this is all done with markers. So just markers and water and a brush. So easy. Once I've got that stamped in there, now I can dip my brush in water, pinch it off again and just touch this. If you notice that your image maybe is getting too dark or, or get, uh, blending out too much, just dip your brush in water, pinch it off and start again. So now let's move on to the next one. This is just a little bud. So we're gonna use the same colors. I'm gonna color the little buds purple and then go back to the little stem and color it in the green and just put this in here a few times. So you wanna stamp it at least twice before you re-ink. And with these long stems, never add any water to the stem, only to the little bud. And see, touching it just sort of activates that color and really, really pops that color out. So let's add another accent in here, the little branch. And I'm just gonna use the, the green again and just add some little details. And let's do one more step and let's add a little color to the background. And we're gonna do that with a blue. So this is a bright, bright blue. And we're just gonna dip our brush in water and take some of this blue and just add it to the background. It just really brightens up everything. 
and try a different color palette. Try the same border and try it with a different color palette. And there we go, that is finished. And it only took just a few minutes to do. Always date it. You know, once you've done something like this in your Bible, always date it and mark that down as to when you when you did that little creation. So the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is put some text in your Bible. So these are die cut letters and I'm gonna create a word that I can place in here. So this is another really fun, easy way to start. Not intimidating and actually it would be super fun. You could go through and maybe pick the key verse on the page. Uh, maybe you could go through and do the attributes of God. That would be really, really cool to do in your Bible. So I wanna show you how to put these words in and create this, um, this image of the word in your Bible. And we're going to use the same, uh, the same stamp, same basic elements as we did on that border. So I have die cut out the word hope on here. So I'm going, I used a, a masking paper and I just die cut this word out. So I'm going to now pull the back off and stick it into my Bible. And I have little lines here, so it's super easy to line up. Peel that back off and just put this in here and kind of push it down. You know, this has a, a coating on it, so make sure that really sticks, sticks down on here. And that looks pretty good like that. Okay, so now we've covered up the area where this word is, and so we can stamp over the top. So I'm gonna go back with the same elements that I used before and start out with the little vine. And I don't need to stamp the whole, ink the whole thing up. I'm just kind of getting color all around here. So honestly, there's no way to mess this up. That's why this is such a great project to start with is because honestly, it's really, it's foolproof. So we're just basically putting color in and texture. Once that's done, now we'll come back in and do the same thing with the little flowers. So these are the same flowers we used on the border. We're gonna stamp on the exact same way, just kind of around in a circle and just get this all over the place. And now let's go in with just a little bit of color in the background. So I'm gonna add some blue to my palette and just brush in a little color into the background. So just like this. So once I've done that, now let's go back in and start softening these lines. So I'm gonna start out with the green the lightest color and just start softening these little these little vines. So I'm gonna add a little more blue now because the, the point is that we want to make sure that um, the letters are surrounded by color. So when we go to pull these letters off, we have color all around. So let's add some more details in here. So add, let's add some of this little, uh, this little buds, just like we did before. So two colors, let's add the purple and the green on the stem. Okay, so now we can take those letters off and see our word, the word revealed underneath, hope. And one last step with this is to take a little bit of this blue and just run it along the edge. This is gonna pop your letter out just a little bit, just one side. You could add a little sparkle to it. Uh, you could add some foils, you could add lots of little embellishments to it, or you could keep it simple. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.